Across the world, there are more than 285 species commonly referred to as fire ants. Also known as ginger ants, tropical fire ants, and red ants, these six-legged insects have begun to overpopulate the world. Colonies of ants produce large mounds in open areas, feeding on young plants, seeds, and sometimes crickets. They could also kill and eat animals too. The fire ant attacks by gripping its prey and stinging it with its unique venom called solenopsis. These insects have become pests as they overpopulate the southern United States and irritate agricultural reserves as well as everyday residences. In 1946, a solution was introduced to the world, Murex. This chlorinated hydrocarbon was commercialized as an insecticide. It was also applied as a fire return. It is a white, crystalline, odorless solid, which can be applied to large areas by aircraft, tractor, or by hand. This product is known to attract and kill red fire ants. Between 1962 and 1975, about 250,000 kilograms of murex were applied to fields in the United States. Despite its practical applications, it turns out that murex does more harm than good. Recent studies have categorized murex as a possible carcinogenic, which means that it could possibly cause cancer. Also, consuming this chemical can result in several harmful effects for humans. These include endocrine disruption, which interferes with your glands, suppression of the immune system, which leaves you susceptible to illness, liver problems, scoliosis, and heart defects. But that's not all. Murex also has harmful effects in the aquatic environments. If fish are exposed to this chemical, it could be deadly. Chlorinated hydrocarbons have been proven to cause kidney lesions and kill damage to fish. Also, it can kill many underwater plant species. In 1977, all uses of Murex were officially prohibited under FIFRA regulation. Today, it is still legal and safer insecticides are used instead.